Hey guys, hey, good evening. Uh, it is nine o'clock, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this night cook going. You know, because uh, about nine o'clock, go ahead and get this cook started. You know, I'll probably do uh, probably eight, nine hour burn. I probably will not get up about maybe three, four o'clock in the morning. And uh, these uh, briskets should be just about done when it's time to wrap. Uh, probably around, you know, the color, probably around 150 internal. You know, because this is gonna be a, it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long cook. Cause you know, I want to get some sleep today, tonight. Yeah, so I'm on the boat today. I am gonna be running wide open today. Okay, and I'm gonna show you something, guys, that I've been, that I did earlier uh, from my previous cook. You know, uh, cause my pit needed a little cleaning. So I'm running wide open on my on the ball valve today, okay? And I'm, I might just, I'm going to shut it down. Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened. Uh, lost a little bit of signal. Let me turn this light back on. Okay, there we go. Okay, but uh, I want to let you guys see something real quick. You see all this? I did a, I did a hot steam bath two days ago when I did my, my cook and took all that stuff off. I threw like two gallons of water after my cook was done. And I just dump two gallons of water through the uh, the stack, so it can actually, you know, clean my pit, you know, and I let it sit for 48 hours. Because if you look in the back, right, you see how you see that silver stuff in the back, okay. And um, I did a steam bath, and I cleaned everything off. It didn't take that long just to get off some of that creosote. So when you start seeing a lot of creosote, right, go ahead and give your go ahead and give your um, your pit. You know, a little steam bath, and uh, let it you know, let it sit for about 24 hours, and then come in with your scraper and then scrape all this stuff up. You can see up there at the top, you know, everything's pretty much scraped off. So if I take off my, you look at the back back there, see it's looking real clean. And I'm gonna do another steam bath tonight. I mean, after this cook, in the morning time, I'm gonna do another steam bath and uh, take some more of this stuff off, and then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna reseason it with with some Pam, okay. And then uh, reseason it back up. So grates all clean. You know that steam bath does real good. And sometimes you have to do it. All right. Okay. But I didn't take all the seasoning off, but just enough to get all that other stuff off. Okay. So all this black stuff that was right there, that's what came off my sides. And every now and then you need to do one. But anyway, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay. So I got a couple of butts that I'm going to be doing. And I went ahead and scored them up. And this is going to be a sweet heat, almost like that North Carolina uh, sweet heat on your pork butts, okay? And I'm going to cook everything in the pan except for this big old brisket right here. This one, you know, I'm, I'm going to do two briskets in the pan and then uh, this, you know, I like to do that just so you guys can see the difference. And I'm going to do one straight on the rack, okay? And I'm going to cook all these fat side up. So these are the briskets that I seasoned earlier today that y'all saw. All right, I don't have my racks in here. I got to get some better racks because the other ones I had, they uh, they tend to rust up real fast. I need to get some stainless steel, you know, racks. And don't forget to spray back the inside. Yeah, I'm going to get that too. Uh, thanks for reminding me of that. You know, so yeah, once I do another steam bath tomorrow, I will be reseasoning again because I want to do another, a, uh, another steam bath. For the boat, okay, but I am going to reseason it. Okay, this one's going to be in the pan too. So these butts are ranging from 17 to, you know, 16 pounds. All right, this is just to catch my drippings. You know I like a clean pit, guys. Okay, but man, look at that. Oh, that's just coarse salt, coarse pepper. Look at that fat cap right there. That's going to be good. That's how much fat I want to have on my flat. You know, on my point. I pretty much try to take it down to the meat, but, but ooh, look at that. I love that, man. Look at that color on there. So that's what happens when you let it do a dry brine, you know, for a couple hours. And that's what I did. And it, it just brings out that color. And it's going to have some flavor in there. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and light this thing up so we can go ahead and close it up so I can go to sleep. All right. And uh, I am running my meter block today. I got four probes in. And I actually got it set for uh, for, uh, for internal temp for my brisket for 165 to wake me up. 
okay? But today, guys, hey, I'm doing something different, too. I'm going to be running some pecan today instead of hickory. I haven't ran pe uh, pe uh, pecan in a long time. And I do like pecan because it has a sweet, it has a nice, sweet, nutty smell to it, you know. And I just want to change it up a little bit. It's still going to taste good, all right? But it's been... Man, it's been about a year or so since I used pecan. We know, but, but usually I'm strictly, you know, hickory. So we're going to change it up a little bit and we're going to give a little taste in the morning time, all right? And I am using my bio cubes. So I'm just going to use two tonight. You know, it's not going to be too cold in Colorado right now. It's, it's right at 48 degrees, which is, you know, that's, that's pretty good. You know, come Wednesday, guess what? It's going to be snowing again. Yes, it is. It's supposed to get down to 23 degrees. Let's go ahead and light this thing up. There we go. I think we're good. And this is all I do for my, my night cook, my long cook. You know, I just light these two cubes up, close it up, and let it go. If it's really, really cold, then uh, I will get my chimney and probably do maybe a quarter of lit charcoal and then dumping in but if I want to get some sleep this is the way I got to do it we're going to let that burn for about maybe a minute or so and then we're going to close it up you know I, I am not running no fan system today now I prefer not to run a fan on the boat it, it really doesn't need it but those who are, who are not comfortable you know doing a night cook and 8-10 hours and hey use a fan system you know and it worked just fine but I feel like the the fans uh, the fan system sometimes it'll burn your fuel out way too soon. You know, if I'm running a natural draft, you know, I know this pit will uh, will get me through at least eight hour eight straight hours. You know, through the through the from the night to the morning time. Okay. All right. I think we're looking good here. Yeah, I'm not using that much fuel. It's about six inches apart. Okay, I got it all the way to the top. Pecan wood. I think that's enough right there. Let's go ahead and put that in. Get in there, baby. Okay. I mean, I can smell. That smells good already. Brother, are you using lump? I'm using uh, Kingsford today. You know, my go-to is King, my, well, my, well uh, my secondary is Kingsford, but I prefer Lump, to tell you the truth. If I can find me some, uh, the uh, b and Hickory Lump, then I will use that, but you know, that Lump can get expensive, but I am using, I think I told you guys before, I'm using something called Mazaro Mesquite Lump, that stuff burns clean, I use that one on my ABS uh, rotisserie smoker, okay. But if I can find some Lump, I will use Lump. But Kingsford gives me a steady, gives me a steady burn uh, throughout the whole night. Royal Oak for the wind. You know, I, I like Royal Oak too. Um, but if that one does, Royal Oak burns a little bit faster than B and B. If I can find that Royal Oak bit, that one too, I would use it. Okay, last look in my cook. All right. We got some big briskets and all these little pieces that I put on size. These are gonna be for my uh, my burrow tacos or some quesadillas. You know, shred them up, put them on some baked potato, okay? Or put in some chili stew. It's gonna be some good eating. Beautiful. And then up top, you know, you know about the pork buzz. I don't really care much, care too much. If they get dark, they get dark. And uh, all you gonna do with these pork buzz is just shred them up, right? And then put it on some bread. There we go. Okay, guys, I think that's a wrap on this cook, on this setup for my night cook. I will bring you guys back later on. Close up, and then once I turn it off, I'm gonna put my locks in. And then I'm going to go to sleep. Yes, sorry, brother. It, it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be good. What kind of seasoning are you using? Man, I am strictly for my briskets, salt and 
pepper. I usually go 60-40 uh, pepper to salt. Cause I like a I like a heavier I like a heavier um, salt content. Okay. Can I get this thing off? Okay, I'm turn that off. All right. I think we're good, guys. We're good for the night cook. Uh, the meter block is set up, ready to go. I'll bring you guys probably back around 3 3:30 in the morning, four o'clock. Hey, God bless y'all. Hey, and take care.